What's going on YouTube? It's the 50 Bullet Camp signing in once again. Um, this video right here, I'm going to show you basically how to collect semen and pretty much how to do, show you how to do an AI. And I'm going to try to do that as quick as I can. And like I said, this, this video right here, I'm going to try to knock out two birds and one stone and maybe three. I'm going to show you how to collect the semen, do the AI. And for the people that's new to my channel and new to basically my Instagram and Facebook, you can kind of see that I'm actually breeding a female that I say I'm breeding. A lot of times you get those, um, how do I know I breed or blah, 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 blah. So this right here, you will actually get a chance to see I'm actually breeding this dog to that dog. So uh, I'm going to pretty much show you what you need. This right here is an in, in insemination kit or AI rod. I don't know the terms, so uh, don't shoot me on that one. But you can get this from eBay, Amazon. Just type in AI kit and it'll come up. So you need this rod. And everybody kind of got their own. They actually have AI kits that you can actually order. They come in a package and some of these kits. So they got some kits out there that's flexible. Some are hard. I think I'm gonna try to start using the flexible one that you get know, next. I haven't used them yet, but I'm gonna try it. Right now I'm using the, the hard one just because this is the one I was pretty much taught how to do it on. So uh, I got a Ziploc bag and I got some personal lubrication. I have seen people use Vaseline, but it's pretty much up to the individual. Uh, I probably may start using Vaseline a little later because I'm back around to lube, so the next I'll probably try the Vaseline next. But you can use personal lube if you want. Um, and what you do with the Ziploc bag, you're basically just going to tear this top part off, tear it off, and discard it. And honestly, I don't need this now. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to set this to the side because I don't need it now. So this, this rod is basically what you'll use for the, uh, for the female. So I'm going to set this to the side. This is my main man, Picasso. If you don't know, now you know. So I'm going to show you what you're pretty much looking for. You can get close for me. Get down in the area. Now he may already be ready. Well, he's not. He usually be ready because he know what's going on. I've been working him all week, so we'll see. I'm going to just put the plastic down. For video purposes, I'm going to put the plastic down and show you what I'm doing and just collect when it's time. So. As you can see, it's a ball. You can't see it now because it's not hard, but it's a ball right there. Now, with this ball, you see it's getting hard? You're gonna keep going back and forth. Just kind of put a little pressure on it, not too much. <clears throat> now, sometimes I need the female in front of them, sometimes I don't. So we'll see, because the female is in here. As you can see, it's getting harder and harder. Now this ball is getting rock hard. Now eventually it's gonna start humping. to move around. Semen going in. I don't know what's going on. But the semen going in right now. And uh, you basically have to pull the penis to the back. Alright, sorry about that guys. I had to uh, see what was going on with those dogs. So, uh, Basically, you see, I'm pretty much holding the penis, this hard ball right here. The ball got real hard, really, really hard. So what you do, you pretty much pull the penis back and uh, you just basically just let them collect. And that's all you're doing. You're just letting them collect. You know, you don't have to pull it all the way back. Just, you know, pull it back just a little bit and you just collect. Um, as far as what to collect, that's pretty much on the individual. I collect, uh, I try to collect somewhere between five and 10. And I'm good with that. It, 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 like I said, it's really on the individual. 
but you just sit here and you just let them just let them do his thing. And as you can see, you know his butt going in and out to let you know he's still giving it to you, still giving you semen. <clears throat> And like I say, man, you just hold it back, you hold it back, you just let them collect. He, to, he like to move when I do it, so I kind of gotta gotta hold him. All right, guys, I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna cut this short, and then uh, when I come back, I'm gonna pretty much be doing the video of the AI. All right. Back again, guys. Uh, this time, I'm better gonna show you how to do the actual AI. Uh, when I do my female, I pretty much like to clean them off on the back. Uh, you can get you whatever soap or whatever that you use. You can just get your warm rag or whatever and just wipe them off clean, just so they don't have any dirt or debris going inside of them when you insert this this rod. Uh, I just got a little paper towel, which is cool, and I'm gonna do them. Just wipe her off, get her clean. <coughs> So now she doesn't like this. This is a smaller dog, so I'm used to doing bigger dogs. So it's gonna be a little difficult for me. I'm not gonna lie to you because she is a smaller dog, and I usually have another person here to help and not record, so it's easier for me. So with that said, I'm gonna see if I can do it. And this is what the lube is for. You know, you want to lube up the rod. You know, you want to get some lube down there for her. Cause you don't want to be, you know, a bunch of friction going in. Now that's a bunch of AI videos out there, guys. So you know, I'm not the best at it. I just know I know how to do it. So I can only show you how I do it. And then there's probably some out there that may show you a little bit more or go into more detail. Or, could use the correct terms, I don't know. But I just know, I know how to do what I do. So, like I said, hopefully, we can get it in there real good. Now, what I was taught to do, some people can just stick the rod in there and they know exactly where it's at. For me personally, I have to stick my finger in there. And then once I stick my finger in, I pretty much guide the rod. And once the rod reaches past my fingertips and keeps going, that's when I insert the semen. So, like I can say, give me a minute because she's so super short. And she doesn't like it herself, so. So what I'm doing guys, I'm basically going slow. Wanna go real slow and just shoot it in there because just in case some shoots back out, you wanna be able to, you wanna be able to control how much is going in. You don't wanna shoot it all in there, then it all shoot out. And then you got a problem. And you just waste it seeing. So now, once I shoot it in, I suck it all the way back up full of air, and I shoot it down. That's when I shoot it down the I do it about two or three times, suck up all the air, then I shoot it down. Just to make sure I shoot the semen, just to make sure I shoot the semen all the way down now. So, the third time, then I'm a little OCD, so they could be watching. Now, what you want to do, you want to pull it out slow, and you want to pretty much, you're going to discard that. So I, I did with that little rod right there, you know, you can discard it. They're cheap on eBay. Um, 
It don't cost that much, so I just throw them away. Now what you want to do, you want to pretty much um, rub on the area of the vulva. I think that's the correct term. Remember, I'm not a bit. So you want to rub on it to pretty much see her flag. That let you know it's kind of like if she would, the dog was in it, she would be flagged. Um, some people plug her and do it, which is cool. You can do that. You can plug and pretty much rub. And now the amount of time you want to hold her up, the most I've seen is 30 minutes. What time is it, mommy? 6 12. So the most I've seen is 30 minutes. Me personally, I do it about 10 to 15 minutes, 30 minutes sometimes if I just got something to keep my attention. But I really don't like doing this part because you like, you know, you get to sit in here. Unless you got something to watch on YouTube or watching your favorite video. I, 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 stop, stop, stop scratching that Um, To watch on your video, then your time to go back pretty fast. But you just sitting in here doing it. Uh, it's gonna take a little, it's gonna turn out it's gonna take forever. So like I said, I usually do 10 minutes, 10 to 15 minutes. Some people do 30 minutes so they'll know that the semen is pretty much down. Cause what you don't wanna do is shoot it in, shoot the air in, get all the semen in, then put it down, then semen come out. It will happen. Um, and I like to wait an hour after I'm done to let her go outside. Oh, excuse me. I like to wait an hour after I'm done Pretty much, when I'm done, this whole process is over, and it's 6.20 or whatever, um, I'll wait to about 7.20, 7.30 to, to let her go outside and pee, to relieve herself, because you don't want her to relieve herself. Some people may wait longer, I wait an hour, that's pretty much what I've been doing, so uh, you can pretty much figure out your own method, but I would at least say an hour, at least wait that amount of time, if you want to wait two, three hours, that's, that's even better, if she can hold it. But I wait an hour, and if I wait two hours, it's cool, but the the, the, uh, the the lowest amount of time I'm willing to wait is an hour. Um, no time before that, not that minute, none of that. I do an hour, then I let her outside. So as you can see, she doesn't like it. I don't like it because I'm in an uncomfortable position. But like I say, it was the only way I could show you guys how to do it, because uh, I didn't have a third person here to pretty much hold the camera and why somebody hold her because we usually do her on the table because she's so small. But, you know, she's getting better at it. And she's, getting way, she's getting way better at letting me do it. Now she's just kind of just sitting and letting me do it now. But like I said, you can see her flag. You can see her tail going from side to side. You just want to keep rubbing. I said, you want to do it for about 10, 10 to 30 minutes, man. Keep her up. Keep her up. And, and that pretty much will go in. And I'm trying to think what else I got to tell you all. Uh, I really wasn't talking too much when I was trying to get the straw in because I was trying to concentrate on her because her, her hole is so small. So, um, and then like I said, I'm not an expert. I just know how to do it. So it takes me a minute sometimes. And like I said, I use my finger to guide, to guide the rod in. Some people I've seen just stick the rod in there and, and they hit every time. But, you know, they, they, they know how to do it, you know. And I know how to do it too, but I just know how to do it how I was taught. So maybe one day I get good at it where I can just stick the rod in and it's in there, but as of now, sticking the finger in and letting that, that rod pass your, your, your uh, once that rod, once this rod passes this finger and it just keep going, I pretty much just go ahead and try to take my hand on that. Or sometimes I leave it in and let it keep going until it won't go no more. If it, um, you don't have, you don't want to ram it in there, that's for sure, because this is a, it's kind of hard rod, you know what I mean? You don't want to ram it in there. You might, you might uh, puncture something. So that's why sometimes like, I take my time and I'm real slow with doing it. Or I may take it out and readjust it because it may feel like I'm not in the right spot. So, uh, yeah, I'm trying to think what else, what else, what else, what else do I got to tell y'all about this? I'm trying to see if I explained everything. Uh, how many minutes we on that video? Nine. Nine minutes? Okay. Picasso, all right, cool. Um, I think that's it, man. If this girl takes me, we'll probably have a litter in January. We'll have a litter in January sometime. Um, so hopefully she takes. Hopefully this video was informative. Uh, enough for you to kind of see what's going on and see how to do it. Uh, like I say, I'm not an expert in it. I just know how to do it. Uh, I can only show you how I was taught. Um, and there are other videos that may go a little bit more in depth. And I do, I may be able to tell you a little bit more. Um, but hey, that's, that's pretty much how I get it done. And it's been working for me since I've been doing it. And I've been doing it for about five, six years now. So 
pretty much how I like to do it. That's how I do it. Uh, hopefully you're able to get your mail to collect. Hopefully that video was good, that part was good. And hopefully you're able to get the bra inside your female with no problem. Um, hopefully you can refer back to this video um, if you have having any issues. I don't know what's going on with these dogs tonight. But hopefully you can refer back to this video if you got any any questions or any problems as far as how to do it, learning how to do an AI. Uh, just kind of go back to it and <clears throat> focus on it. If you got any questions, you can hit me in the comment box. Uh, you can hit me on Instagram, Izzy 56 Bullet Camp. Uh, Facebook, on top of your man. I still have one puppy available. You want to tell him over there? Still got that one puppy that's available. Uh, three months old. So, you know, that's another Picasso son. So, you know, get with me. You know, AZ56 Bullet Camp on Instagram, on top of your man. Facebook, 404 798 4537 is the phone number. Uh, I say if you comment on that and I don't comment back like that. Forgive me, because a lot of times I don't see those comments. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to keep rambling. So, yeah, that's pretty much it, man. Signing off, Daisy 56.